Yo, 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 yo. What's up, what's up, what's up? Na, 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 na. You know what it is. Got another StarCraft Casty Cast, and we got part five of Kokini versus Kokini versus JH. And this is going to be the last part of this series. So I think this is. I will be already be in Florida by the time this is. I think I uh, my Florida. I'll be the February fifth or something. Might be posted on like the 7th or 8th. So actually going to get a super nice scout off right here. And I think there's four games that I'm going to be doing. So we will see how they play out. And uh, yeah, so JH is going to go for the run. And then at the end of this, hopefully I remember, I'll try to add up what the score was and go through everything. But um... Gonna do this little casty cast. I'm doing this way. This is in January. I'm casting this end of January. Gonna do this cast and then go watch that Doctor Strange on Marvel. Have not seen it. Uh, it's on Disney Plus. I mean, it's, it's a Marvel movie. So I want to see the new Wakanda Forever. Been waiting for that to get on Disney Plus. So. Here is your Marines. Here are your Marines. And your first cannon coming down. We got the three gates. And a depot over here. So, or not a depot. An SCV. We'll see if something happens. Little micro action. And last game we saw Kokini win a PVZ. Going to send these guys out. We'll see some micro action. And this guy's going to come from the side and get some hits off. And so this cannon's going to finish, and we're going to see a factory come down. Yeah, that is exactly what Kokini goes for. Always gets that quick factory, and he also puts a bunker back there. Doesn't usually get an academy right away, so he just relies on his bunkers and then getting a quick enough um, tank out. So... The one thing you could maybe do is go for Quick Dragoons, but it's very tough because he built so many bunkers. So you almost have to... I mean, maybe like a Quick Storm and Fast Zalots? I don't know. But we go after some SCBs right here. Got two. And almost going to get three. That guy went all the way down. He's got 12 HP. So, factory done. Here's your academy getting made. Got to get that machine shop. He's microing over here. I think he's just using these guys right now. He's checking this out. He can get that machine shop. There it is. And here's your engineering bay. Going to run back to that bunker. And let's see what JH has got going on. Citadel of a Dune. Pumping out Zealots. Just micro and killing Marines while he can. Might run back here. Try to kill this machine shop. Gonna put those guys in the bunker. So nicely done. Just getting an idea of what he's up against. Gonna put a couple more gateways down. And looks like he might go for DTs. So we'll see. He's got the gas for it. There's your... Templar Archives, he's got Zealots on this side. He's going to see that Engineering Bay. Going to see the tank, or the factory, getting Siege Upgrade. We can back this up a little bit. And this should be posted on a Friday, so I hope you guys have a good Friday. And a good weekend. <clears throat> there's some depots right here where there's a lot of marines really can't do much right now and that tank should be popping out real soon there it is so siege done and we'll probably see a turret get made but let's see if he's got he's got stim just about done and now he's going to start pushing on out so 
in a decent position in my uh, in my opinion. Not sure why he put the turret here instead of here. I think it would have been better to put it here. But we'll see. Kokanee knows more than me. I mean, the reason could be it can fire at a shuttle farther out. But also a DT can kill that really quickly. Going to build a turret up here. So, took care of that pretty easily, and a lot of gateways coming down for JH. No extra Nexus just yet. So, the probe and SCV count is basically the same. And now, this is going to turn into a game of massing, I think. And we got Speed Zealots. Let's see if these guys have any upgrades. Let's watch this attack. Going to run in here. There's another turret. And going to run back. Going to try to kill that turret so these DTs can get in here. But there's a turret over here. He's going to run these guys by. Use these to take out the tank. Which he does. Nicely done. Running these guys on through. Going to stim these guys up. Couple medics in here. DT's coming. And there's that turret. We'll see if... Ooh, I think he could have got that turret if he wanted to. And already getting two extra command centers. Going to take out this turret over here. We'll probably see JH put down a robotics. He's getting some Templars, but yeah, Kokini wants to reestablish his front right here. So he's going to build this barracks, wall this off, and that is going to get taken care of. Going to get commsat, and probably going to lift this up after he has this fortified and then put it on over here. Getting a couple fire bats. We'll probably get that upgrade. There's a DT in his base, but he's got the scan for it. But no drop, no extra Nexus for JH right now. And he's still scouting. He's going to scout this out right now. And this DT's in here. Two DT's in here. I didn't see where those guys came from. This guy's going to make it out alive. Or is he? Wow. That scan lasted a while. SCV in here. And going to try to run it. And you're going to see Templar. And you can see that JH has a pretty big base. It looks bigger than what it is, though. That's what she said. So re I'm going to refortify this. Bunkers coming down. Got some Templars in here. Stimming these guys up. Sniping out the Templars. Nicely done by Kokini. And going to deter JH right now. To build a little turret action. This tank's going to get a little bit ahead of himself. So we got two extra command centers here. Maybe we'll see a tank drop. But Kokini usually likes to just go with, go with the vessel. Doesn't really get too aggressive with his tank drops or anything like that. Generally. I mean, sometimes he does, but... Yeah, there's your science facility. So 105 supply, 122 supply. TT is still over here. He's got nine kills. Ten now. So a scan's gonna come down. Take that guy out. Had enough of that. This guy's gonna build a turret up here. Here comes a minor frontal attack, but really, this is just completely walled off. I just don't see. We might see a nice storm come down. Yeah, real nice storm right there. Small chance he might be able to bust through here. He's actually making some progress, actually. He's got these units right here. He needs to send them on over. These fire bats in here. Very, very underrated. This is going to go down by this Dragoon. But... Kokini going to survive that. And then he's going to go right back into building Depot and a... Another depot, bunker, bunker. There's an Archon getting made. There's your Nexus. And there's your support bay. I don't see, here's your robotics. So now we're gonna see a lot of drops coming from JH. Here's your vessel getting made. And Kokini gonna have to start getting more gas. So I'm gonna kill this bunker right here. We'll see if he lifts this up, but I think he, he needs to make three refineries right now. Building a lot of barracks. He's got a factory right here. Got that vessel on the way. Going to lift that up. He'll take these guys, kill that. 
and upgrade on armor right now. So tomorrow's Saturday, so I think tomorrow I'm going to do some casting of the, the low money games uh, for, what's his name, Jan's tournament. So, but I don't know when those are going to get posted. They may or may not get posted simultaneously as some of these games. Actually, they'll probably get posted when I'm I'm gone in Florida. So those will be the following week after this. But I want to do Kokanee versus Gold SCV. I got 19 games of those two playing each other. So here's your drop coming. He's gonna go maybe go for a double drop. Gonna get a nice scan off. And there's your forge. Gonna see he's starting to take over the front. Kokanee starting to build up his base. And he went for a nuke that one game. Here's your drop. No speed. Should have waited for speed. Just going to drop these guys in here. Start taking this out. And then maybe he'll come with some more shuttles after. Let's see if he sets that up. He does have it set up. That's what I was thinking. Wants to kill some of these turrets. And here comes the real drop. And speed's going to finish just in time. And three Templars in here. Nice. One storm. And three storms come down, dropping to 51 SCVs. Kokanee always really good with pulling his SCVs for the most part. He hotkeys them. Gonna kill this, I'm guessing, pretty soon. Gotta pick up these SCVs. This Archon's gonna have a feast. Absolute feast right there. And four robotics is, he's got three stargates right here. So we're going to just see drops on drops on drops. And then we might see a transition into carriers. We'll see. We will see about that. That we will see. Is that from a movie or something like that? I feel like whenever I'm casting, I randomly think of quotes from movies. They're moving in herds. I think I've said that one before. That one's always stuck in my head. Uh, 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 um. They do move in herds. So, Kokanee's still fine. Getting his upgrade. Let's get that second upgrade right there. He's got a decent amount of factories. Here comes another drop. And scanning. Looking for a drop. Possible drop. Might see the ability to nuke. Here comes that drop right here. And this is gonna, he's gonna drop all these guys right here. I think he should have just went all the way through. Kokanee gonna, he was already pulling his SCV, so. Really wouldn't have lost money. Storm's coming down. These guys are gonna keep going out, though. He's gonna lose 12 right there, though. But he pulls them back just in time, so nicely done. Storm's coming down. Another drop. And I think JH's Protoss is sometimes underrated, in my opinion. He's got a really good t uh, TVP, also, in my opinion. He's got that tank drop. He's so good with tank drops. I think a scan came down. Scanning right here. <clears throat> Big little sip of water. Kokanee. Slowly getting maxed out. There he is killing that. There's a drop coming. And there's your Templar. And gonna get uh maybe one or two kills, so nice. But there's still a ton of Templars right here. Another storm over there. So he's gonna have to keep these guys pulled. Little frontal attack, another storm. But yeah, Kokini really good at dodging drops. Gonna repair that bunker. Those Templars are gonna go down. Getting some ghosts. And it's got the medic back here repairing any of these SCVs that are injured. We got another drop right here. 
And maybe we'll see two more robotics get made. I could see JH maybe try to go for... Maybe switch it up and go for some Reavers in here. Skin coming down, but here comes your drop. And pull on the SCVs. Gonna go after the main, baby. That's the only thing about pulling your SCVs is there's nothing really to save your main. Got a couple ghosts, though, in here. Repairing. And gonna be A-OK. -okay. 69 SCVs. And another drop coming from JH right here. So that one upgrade's done right there. What's he killing? Okay, this bunker right here. Here comes your drop right here. I do think that JH needs to kind of switch up his strategy. These drops really aren't landing much. And this one may though. Storm's coming down. Those are pretty good storms. Nice attempt. But still not going to get anything. He's got these guys all hotkeyed really nicely. Or he's just doing the F2, F3. Click. Right click. I can't do it that fast. I don't play much. So he's got the ghost on the side for drops. Let's see. Probably see another couple of skins come down. Wondering what is he up to? Here's your reavers that I'm talking about. So we got some reavers in action. Gonna build some more gateways. And yeah, maybe we'll heal transition into carriers. I have a feeling he's gonna drop all these guys right here, but these ghosts are gonna We'll see if he lockdowns these Reavers right here. Here comes your drop. Gonna drop right here. These guys might all go die from one hit. Oh, nice lockdown. Gonna get three of those Reavers. This bunker doing what it's needed. Take that out. And you got this frontal attack, but I mean, just too many bunkers up here. And look at all these robotics getting made. So you might just continuously try to keep going for reaver drops right here. I like that play from JH. That's the one thing about JH is he's a smart player. Here's three Templars in here. He will mix up his game. Like if this was Dingo, he'd be just dropping. There's your Templars, and he would never stop dropping. And he would never go for a huge Reaver drop like this, wouldn't go for Carriers. I mean, an Archon drop like this. That's why the one... That's why when I watch Dingo sometimes he's just, he's a great player, but sometimes he's just, I get annoyed because he's just, sometimes he'll be one dimensional. Gonna get some more room in here, lifting this up. The one thing Kokini needs to do is at least get three more factories here. You need to have at least 10 to 12 factories he likes to go Marines and <clears throat> Marines and uh, tanks. So a lot of barracks for his when he starts busting out. I don't really like that because we have a couple of Templars right here. They just absolutely destroy the Marines. Just the more factories, the better. Here comes your drop right here. And did he EMP that? I think he did. Gonna drop on the main. Pulling the SCVs. Let's we'll see if the main goes down. There's your storm. Repairing it. Just taking some heat. Bringing these guys back. Gonna try to save it. Oh, it's 
200. Oh, I think it's going to be okay. Wow, close one. Nice attempt, though, from JH. And he lost a lot of SCVs there, so. Nicely done. Let's see if these are, yeah. Here's your shuttles getting made with a bunch of Reavers. And just going to probably continue to just do that. Maybe get some Archons as well. Here's a Templar drop. Scan's coming down. He's going to see that drop. He's going to see this. And maybe he'll drop some tanks over there. Here comes another drop. This is a Templar drop. See if he EMPs this. Trying to time it. Pulling the SCVs. So I'm going to be completely fine here. I like seeing Kokanee's Terran vs. Protoss, Terran vs. Zerg, uh, and Zerg vs. Terran, Zerg vs. Zerg vs. Protoss. I think it's, his Protoss is, I don't know, it's just, he likes to use cannons a lot, it's just, it's good, it's just, these are more, these games are more fun, in my opinion, to cast, but, he knows what he's doing to win. And gonna seize these guys up. Gonna start taking out all of these. He's probably gonna wait for some Reavers and then just re instead of going through the front, he's just gonna keep kinda going through the side right here. Let's see what the upgrades are. Two two upgrades on the tanks. Gonna start making some more ghosts. And we have some Stargates over here. Gonna have to repair this. More Reavers. And he's got another drop coming. Look at all these Archons. Scan coming down. He's probably gonna scan this, yeah. Here comes your drop. Seeding up all these tanks right away, pulling the SCVs. There's a ghost in here. Gonna drop these guys and not get the storm off. Too many tanks, too much splash damage. So going to be a okay. And we're gonna see another massive drop right here. And I think it's time for me to take my gummy melatonins. We got some Stargates over here as well. Kokini mostly playing defense right now. It's a lot of drops. Here comes this probably Templar drop. There's your Templar and gonna get blasted. Probably another big drop right here. So all these archons. I mean, this is gonna be a massive drop. If he takes these guys. And he takes all these guys. He can get a nice drop in right here. So let's see if that's what he does. Are these all filled up though? They are. Except... Huh? Yeah, this is a monster drop. Scan coming down. He's... See if he sees this. comes that drop should just bring it all the way over the main and this is where I think he's gonna get the main pulling the SCVs EMP coming down yeah look at that drop there goes your main instant kill gonna have to bring some of these ghosts back here maybe and taking out some depots as well And that is going to hurt Kokini. He's got to lift, lift this guy up and put it right here. He's actually going to lift this one up. 
That's actually probably the smarter move because this is closer because then they'd have to go further. Does have it to go a little bit more further distance, but then you can just rebuild right there. He used to drop it though. He's got a drop ship right here, and let's see what JH is up to. I think he just accidentally clicked this guy too far. JH has probably got another big drop right here. Have to bring that back. Let's see if he scans this again, looking for that drop. I mean, he's got 167 supply. Here's a bunker coming down. He's got three ghosts over here. And we'll probably see a drop come real soon. That one drop was massive. Maybe we're going to see carriers. We're going to see carriers. So we got five carriers on the way. Ten carriers on the way. He's got five more over here. But I think if he just kept going for these drops like this... Gonna see that drop. I think that would have been the move. He did another drop right there, kill the minerals, and then just drop a bunch of zealots and stuff in here. Looks like Koken is gonna go for a mass tank drop of his own though. And lockdown coming, nicely done. So that's gonna get taken care of. Hold the SCVs, but. And we'll see if some scans come down. But now he's got 2k and 1500. This is going to finish up soon. So he's basically maxed out. I think he sees that there's maybe like an opening right here for that drop. He scanned this a couple times. Maybe he sees that this is just open for drops. Here's your carriers right here. And we'll see how many dropships he goes with. Gonna see the carriers. And he's got ghosts in place, so doesn't really have to worry too much about that. Here's your academy getting built over here. This guy's stuck. Oh, here comes your cannons coming down though. So, he's going to have to drop right here if he's going to have to go for it. And he's going to have to go for it quick. So, JH having suspicions. Here comes your carriers on this side, knowing that there's just way too many turrets over here. And he's going to go with the, the vessel. Defensive Matrix is coming. And here we go. This is going to go right over these cannons right here. Might have to drop one of these guys. Yeah, he does drop a tank. Going for it. Dropping the tank. We'll see if a scan comes down. Can't see these guys just yet. Maybe this one. Ooh, almost going to get it. Now some more ghosts are going to get made. Let's see what JH has got going on. He's got an ARBS over here. And it's a lot of carriers. And he killed, I think he stormed the left side of his probes. So he's got 36 probes. And he's not really mining from the right side. Here comes your carriers. But you got the ghost right here. And we'll see an EMP come down. May see some reavers get made and then a possible recall. EMP came down. Might stasis these guys. Curious really are not getting much done. I mean, they killed a few things right here. Not using the ghost just yet. Once you hear that sound, you, you know to get your carriers out of there. But he's got the ghost for it. You know what he might do is he might just bring some reaver drops right on in here. But there are tanks over here. I'm 
more of these carriers. Arbiters on the way, carriers on the way. So just slowly taking apart Kokanee's base right now. To rebuild these turrets over here. This guy's gonna get a little lockdown off. This guy might get one off, I think he will. Oh, he had the chance. Just start taking these out. Lockdown coming. Here's your arbs. Another lockdown on the arb. Taking out all of these. Let's see if he's making no drop. Taking all this out. Getting Goliath range. Rates are getting made. He's, getting, he's got a bunch of starports here. Taking out the factories. We'll see if this guy... There's another... Lockdown coming down. Here's an Arbiter in here. Going to stasis all of these raids. And slowly just taking apart Kokanee's base right here. Rates. There's no observer in here. I think he's going to go after the main right here, but not the best move because he's got all these ghosts and there's probably come a ton of lockdowns right here. He's going to get the main though. That's going to go down real quick. This one's going to go down really quick as well. And he might just go straight into a mass after this. I think this one's over. Trying to get this one. Carriers are going down quick, but... Really, the base of Kokanee just got more carriers over here. The base of Kokanee pretty much dismantled right now. And look at the APM. I mean, 250, 115. It's just because he... I mean, he's still at 179 supply, but... So have to rebuild these guys right here. Arbs getting made, more carriers getting made. Got a Templar back here just in case a tank drop happens. Here's your Arbs. We'll see if he gets a couple Reavers. Gonna move this shuttle over. Yep, there they are. So he's probably gonna go for a recall. Here's your Raids, gonna cloak up. Ooh, nice. Stasis gonna come down just in time. Lockdown, lockdown. Trying to get this recall in there. And. Gonna just kill that shuttle. Here comes your recall. Is he gonna get it off? There it is. And gonna start killing the SCVs. Down to 40. And if I was JH, I'd just start making a bunch of Zealots and Dragoons. Sending them on through and switch into that. Doesn't really need carriers anymore, but he's going to continue to make the carriers. It's getting low on money now, though. So. So he's got some more Reavers on the way. But yeah, getting low on money now. So he might have to start making some probes again. And Kokanee's got 9k and 3k, so he's always, he's doing okay. Here's some gateways coming in the middle. Here's your observers. I think if Kokanee worked on his lockdown a little bit. Would do better. I'm gonna cloak these guys up, look for those observers. Taking out the carriers pretty quickly, but 
How many are there? Still at least a decent amount. And these guys are outnumbered. Gonna have to pull those guys back. Gonna bring these guys on back now and take out that carrier. This carrier gonna go down. Gonna pull these guys back. So Koken, he's staying alive right here. Well, let's see if Dragoons start getting made. He's got some Reavers getting made over here. We're going to see another recall. If I was him, I'd just get some Dragoons and start trying to bust through the front right here. With some Zealots. But his money's low. EMP coming down. And now he can bring those rates on over. Lockdown coming down. Check out this guy. Scan's coming down, looking for observers. And now he's going to bring in the Corsairs, which is the right counter to rates. These guys absolutely destroy rates. Gonna get a lockdown right there. Here's your. Yeah, watch these guys get obliterated. And we'll see probably another recall. I don't see an ARB though. Got these guys right here. Here comes your lockdowns. Got at least three. Getting all these guys right now. These guys are pretty stuck so here comes your rates and look at all these rates right here here's your arb though and doesn't have enough energy for a stasis he's gonna snipe out the arb real quick is he gonna get it this one might have a stasis does not and those corsairs just demolished those rates right here that's why you gotta have some corsairs in there See if a recall comes anytime soon. Here's your EMP coming down. Ooh, same timing. Gonna have to gather the troops right here. And Kokini's gas is just really low. That's what happens when you lose your main. Here comes a Reavers, so he doesn't need the recall. And gonna sneak these guys in. These guys are taken out. Gonna bring that Corsair in. Taking out that tank right there so these Reavers can move a little bit closer. I mean, this is a good game. A lot of back and forth between these guys. Now, yeah, Reaver's still down there, though. And JH is so low on money. I mean, if Kokini could just survive this, his gas is so low. Needs to use a couple more ghosts in lockdown. This guy's got enough for a stasis. We'll see if he stasis is the minerals. There's your lockdown. comes your Corsairs making some Goliaths now but here comes another two Reavers some more Reavers I mean JH has a nice PVT he's just got a good Protoss in general But the one weak, weak spot, if Kokni just, he could have possibly got it a little bit sooner, was that drop. Because as soon as he was getting that drop, JH was building those cannons. If he would have went a little bit sooner, he might have had it. 
But this one looks like it's going to go straight to JH. So. There is your GG McGee Ski with it. And let's just count and see. We'll just see what the score is now. We'll go through that. So I got three more games. But let's just go through the score here. Uh, I don't even remember who won this one. I think Kokini won this one. So 1-0. 2-0. 2-1. 3-0. 4-0. 4-1. That one didn't cast. Is this 5-1? 5-2. 6-2. And 6-3. So, Kokini's up 6-3. We got a PVZ. Game number 10. And we'll see how Kokini plays this one. I think this is one Kokini was playing more twos, but I think he's seen more Koreans play. Wow, interesting. He's going to go with a different build order here. And we're going to see quick. Oh, no. He's got the hatchery. Okay. Well, this is going to be a fun one. Let's go. He's got the little choke action. So going to super fast reaver drop. Going to get another cannon here. Make it look like he went for a nexus. But now the only thing this wouldn't this would have some issues is if he was right here, JH or JH was right here, and his overlord scouted this right away, but he's not going to scout this. So, got two zealots, and let me go turn my console back on. One second. got this walled off and I don't even think he scouted him yet he must have he knows he's top left he's got four sunkins right here still hasn't gotten gas in that robo is done reaver on the way second reaver there's your nexus and wondering why you know what he should have done was he should have taken those zealots and just brought them over here waited for the two reavers to come out pick those guys up drop the reavers and then dropped the zealots, or he could have dropped it, picked up the zealots, dropped them, and then dropped the reavers. But this way, this drop's going to be a little bit slower. And here comes your hydralist done, and this is going to catch JH way off guard, though. Five minutes, under five minutes, and there's going to be zealots in here. He's already making a creep. That's four drones. Some zerglings are going to spawn. Sending this guy on over. Sunken's going to finish up. 
Coming back home. Let's see if he's getting speed. He's getting speed. And probably going to make a bunch of gateways right here. Say about four. And he's got two more shuttles. And he's going to go with a reaver in each. So, nice little move right there from Kokanee. These are the things that make this guy underrated, in my opinion. He does things like this where um, it's just little trick things like 458 will do things like this. And here's your gateways. Doesn't play super fast, but plays smart. There's going to be hydras here. The hydras are going to get pulled on this side, and then he's going to come on over. So he's just going to keep faking with this, I'm guessing. He's actually going to go all the way through. Going to drop that reaver. Probably go pick it back up. And maybe bring it up here. Distract a little bit. But then he's got this one coming in from this side. And you would never expect it. And going to get this shot off. And he's got this one still. And let's see if he's got a Templar Archive. It's going to be probably getting made soon. Got another reaver drop. This one's coming from the bottom. I think JH sees it though. But JH is not dead yet. Now JH has to keep Hydra's on this side, Hydra's on this side. And might just start pushing with Reavers at the front. And this is just going to be on patrol back and forth. There's no lair, so there's no spire. And this drop's going to actually come on through. Dropping Zealots. There's your Reaver going to get the right side down to 14 drones. This one's coming in too. Going to drop it. And that, that's not going to go off. Just tell. And now Kokanee needs to start building up his base. There's your Templar Archives getting that upgrade. He's got three forges. And if I was cooking, I would just take two Reavers up here, just push the front a little bit. You know you dropped them pretty good already, so, and then you're gonna come in with your Zealots and bust through the front anyways. Here comes another drop. It's gonna get spotted out. Reaver gonna drop, get taken out. Dragoon range, couple more gateways coming. There's your lair. But 40 drones for JH, so I mean, it's not over yet. And this is going to be probably a Templar drop, one of these, Reaver drop, and a fake drop. And JH is spotting that out. And it's unfortunate spot for JH here. Going to try to sneak this in. This one's going to get through. Reaver, gonna get the right side and down to 16 drones. Another big hit. Gonna bring that shuttle back. Now he's got storms coming. Dragoons are getting made. And I think he's got one upgrade that did finish already. Maybe not. Getting armor. So I'm going to start sending these guys on out. Probably storm right down the middle after this attack. Getting all of his gateways. Wants to get these guys together. Let's see what this looks like for JH. Going to start making a bunch more sunkins if he can. He's got 33 drones now. There's a Templar right there. I mean, JH is doing a pretty decent job for just continuously losing all of his drones. Stargate. Back to 40 drones, just about. 
Got some sunkins back here. Got to build some gateways in the middle. And here's your reaver push. This is what I was talking about. And we got a drop right here as well. Storm coming down. Had to micro these guys. Doing a good job with the sunkins. We're going to see this drop come real soon. Not sure if he's waiting for Storm. A couple lurkers getting made, and I don't, there's your observer, I was going to say. I mean, that's where a player like Kokani, the top players, a good player will forget that, and then... Oh, we're going to get the storm off and drop all the way down to 15 drones. But you would forget that observer, and then that would just just buys you a lot of time as a Zerg player and could win you the game. But someone like Kokanee, not going to forget that. And now we're going to see Mass going to start killing some overlords on the side. Reavers are going to keep pushing right here. Just coming on up. Trying to snipe out these Templars, but they're getting a lot of storms off. JH surviving, but not thriving. Right? More Dragoons coming in here, more gateways getting made. Got another drop. And he sniped out the observer, so more lurkers getting made right here. Let's see if this guy tries to get a storm off. There's your observer. There's your drop. Drop coming over the middle. Storm. Yeah. There's your GG McGee. So Kokanee gonna be up 7-3 right now, I think. Oh, I got a TVP other way around. See a mid build. Just scouting the chokes right now. Gonna go all the way in for that one. Gonna get scouted out. Gonna build that bunker right here. Usually he builds it right here. Let's we'll see if he builds it up here. Likes to build it. Yeah, like one right here and one right here. Here's your zealot. Nice micro from JH. There's your bunker. Gonna start killing the depot. We got four gateways in the middle. And a forge. And we got a pylon coming down. This guy's gonna sneak in. Micro in these guys. There's your SCV in here. There's your factory coming down. Takes out one zealot. Another zealot going down. These cannons are getting close. There's three zealots right here though. Needs to kill this cannon. This one. K 
Cannon just gonna finish. Ooh, he could have killed it. I guess he could have stack attacked if he needed to. He was right there. And now he's gotta get this. He's gonna have to start moving these back. We'll see if gas gets made real soon from JH. He's just pumping out of four, four gateways right now. And look at all of these cannons right here. Another bunker gonna come down. There's zealots on the side, and he actually might just kill this machine shop with the zealots. Gonna kill some SCVs. One. Oops. Two. See this right here. Ooh, a starport getting made. So we scouted that out. That's a lot of zealots right here, though. We got seven plus another four, so eleven. And he might try to take out this bunker. And these cannons are gonna finish up. Tank is here though. Siege getting close. Preparing this. There's your gas getting made. There's your cyber. Have to move this back. Zalot's coming from behind. And Siege is going to finish up. Where's that tank? Here it is. Sometimes it's good to put the barracks over the tank so it doesn't get attacked. Zalot's back here though. Gonna take out the academy. So no range for these guys. See if he uses these zealots to just take this out. Got the stack attack. Coming in right here. And he's got these zealots right here. And usually you don't see Kokani die to this, so. JH going to do a nice job. I think this one's over. Yeah, there's your GG McGee. So it's 6 to 4. Or 7 4. Let's see what game was this? 11 7 4. And we got another. Let's make sure these aren't the same. Another PVT. So 7 7 4. If you guys like the channel, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, give it a like. <laughs> Mid build again. Kokanee going to be in a corner spot, so it's a little bit easier to defend. Fourth gateway right there. So he goes with four gateways. There's your scout in the middle. And he doesn't get that pylon until later. So. There's that marine ski. Getting that gas. Gonna have to run back to that bunker. And here's your probodobe. Take out one of these zealots if he wants. Takes out one right there. Two. Gonna run back to the bunker. See if he puts down that factory. He's gonna put it down over here. There's two zealots sneaking in. Trying to snipe out that probe. And these guys are gonna get some kills. One kill, gonna clip that zealot right there. This guy's gonna go down. Gonna start building cannons on the left side. Here's your academy. Killing some more SCVs right here. K 
Cannon's coming up here. Cannon's coming down here. And not going to get spotted out. So unfortunate for Koki. He's not going to see that one cannon right there. Might run these guys on back. Going to build a bunker right here. And now he's going to see that cannon. Got to build that bunker right there. Machine shop getting close. Cannon going to finish up. We got more zealots coming down here. Going to have to cancel that bunker and rebuild a bunker right here. And JH doing a nice job. Cannoning over here. Can uh, attacking up here. He's also attacking down here as well. These cannons. Once these cannons finish up, that's going to be your GG McGee. More zealots coming in. I don't. Did he already get siege though? Or did he forget to get siege? I think he forgot to get siege. Yeah, he forgot to get siege. He had the gas for it for a while too. And that's gonna be your game. There's your GG. So going to go seven and five on JH from the games that I have. I don't know if they've played other games, but seven and five. I put a total of 12 that I have. Then I got all these games of him versus Gold SCV. So, I'm going to do those in a different week. I think a lot of these are shorter. Maybe not. Mm, definitely not. Some are short, some are not. So, that might be. It's going to be a lot of casting right there. Got a Protoss versus Protoss right there. So, good games right there. Hour long. I think I might have casted this game. Oh, no, that I did not cast that one. So anyways, good games right there. Give it a like, give it a subscribe, and have a good Friday and weekend. I will talk to you later. Peace.